Hello everyone I hope all of you doing good, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yesterday I created this animation inside Blender, so have a look. Today we will make that, and this tutorial will be very beginner friendly, I will tell you every single step, so without wasting your time let me move to our tutorial, press A and delete everything, I'm searching for statue which I will use for our shattering effect. Add new material for our object basically, this material will be inside material for our broken pieces of statue. Now go to object and go to quick effect select cell fracture. Change material from 0 to 1, now our object inside and outside material, and change the source limit to 200 this mean, our object will be break into 200 pieces. As you can see fracture is done, it's look pretty decent to me I think we can move to our next step. That's why we added to materials to our statue now, we can control our inside material. I'm using glass material for interior of our object and giving it green color with some runness, which will make it look like kinda crystal. Now we will make it rigid body, to do that select any part and give it rigid body, and leave the setting to default. Now press A and select everything, and go to object rigid body and select copy from active. Now rigid body is applied to all pieces. As you can see our physics is not working like we want, this is because we have to change our Z gravity to zero. To do that, go to scene menu, and click on gravity and change the Z value to 0. It doesn't look that smooth to me, and it is pretty fast. We are looking for slow-mo look. So go back to scene menu and go to, rigid body world and change speed from 1 to 0.5, and sub steps and solver iteration to value of 2. I'm satisfied to that result. As you can see, I also changed the simulation length. You can also change it depend on how long animation you're looking for. In my case I make it 500, and also change your timeline to same length. Now that's totally perfect and it looks good to me. Now I'm going to give some lighting using HDRI and area lights. I also change my rendering engine to cycle from EVI. I'm 